Yo, what's good, guys? So, as you know, today is my birthday. I'm pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie. Last year, my birthday was kind of, it was mad, but this year, bro, I'm receiving a not a lot of love from people on DM, Snap, TikTok, and I'm just happy. I ain't gonna cap. Like, I really, I really am happy. Seeing a lot of people text me right now saying that I inspire them, wishing me the best birthday, wishing me the best 21 or whatnot. It is really making me feel good. I'm not going to lie. In today's video, this is going to be kind of like a birthday vlog. Right now, I'm going to go run a few errands. I'm going to go to the bank. Then I'm going to go to my stepmom's office. And yeah, I'm going to just chill. And then I know my dad wants to take me out to eat later. So I'm going to record them, record the food and all that. So yeah, right now, probably just going to talk to you guys while I'm at the crib. Right now, I'm just letting time pass by. Right now, I'm uploading a video. I'm trying to upload it on Tuesday, but... Stuff went sideways and never uploaded. I don't know what's wrong with the Wi-Fi or I don't know if it crashes when a lot of people are connected or whatnot. But right now it's uploaded. It should be like at 40%. So yeah, hopefully that uploads today, which is today, Friday, March 1st, my birthday. Probably upload the up the birthday vlog maybe Sunday if everything goes as, as planned. But let me tell you guys something. Last year, I went to go eat for my birthday. I invited probably like six, seven people. And you know what? Now, this year, I'm receiving a lot of happy birthdays from a lot of strangers that are really looking up to me, wish me the best in life, see my full potential. But now, out of those people that I invited last year, I really talk to none of them now. The only main ones I talk to now is literally just Sean and Trey. Those are my homeboys. I appreciate them a lot for supporting me in everything I do. So, yeah, it's crazy how life works. But you know what? I can't sit back and think about the negative. I can't think about the past and all that. All I'm thinking about is moving forward. Also, let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. Back then when I was younger, I really never received birthday parties. I never received none of that. And I remember one time, I think I was turning like 16 or 17 or 15. I don't I don't remember. But I remember my mom was like, yo, I want to throw you a little, a little get together with the family, make burgers and invite everybody. You know what I kept saying? I kept saying, no, 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 no. I don't want none of that. I don't want to do nothing for my birthday. But you know what? You have to appreciate those moments. Because one day my mom's not going to be here. One day my dad's not going to be here. One day there's going to be people that don't even want to see me succeed. They don't want to celebrate nothing with me. So now I'm looking back at it and I'm like, wow. Like, I appreciate she did that for me. Right now my dad was like, where you want to go eat? I'm going to take you wherever you want to go eat. I'm like, all right. And I'm letting it happen because I want to do it. And because I will appreciate forever the stuff that they do for me. So you always got to be happy. It don't matter if you're feeling bad. It don't matter how you're feeling. You always got to accept love from people no matter what. So right now, I'm just chilling. Literally my day off. Um, so yeah, we're going to go eat later. Then I'm going to head to my mom's house. Tomorrow they're going to throw me a little birthday party. So yeah, at the end of the day, I always appreciate everybody. I appreciate my family. I appreciate my dad, my mom, my stepmom, my siblings. I love y'all forever. I got y'all for life. When this YouTube thing pops off, when TikTok pops off, promise you, I will give y'all whatever y'all want. Everything I didn't have as a child, I will get y'all everything y'all want. So trust me. Look. Hold on, let it focus. Look, that like that's mad love, bro, for real. All these people texting me. I'm going to get back to y'all later on. Right now, I'm just trying to chill. But, bro, so many people be texting me. And, bro... That is crazy, bro. Not even my, not even people that I physically shake hands or text to me happy birthday. Not even the people that used to give me rides or the people I used to give rides. They not even texting me right now. They not even saying, yo, happy birthday, G. Motherfuckers, I went to school and not even telling me that shit. So that's why I don't, I don't care about none of that. And I appreciate the people that are texting me. So that's why <clears throat> every time one of y'all text me on some, yo, I need advice. Yo, keep up the good work. That's why I text back because at the end of the day, we are human beings. Ain't no point of being like that. How you follow me and I follow you, but you're not telling me that. That Like, that's fucked up. I ain't gonna cap. By the end of the day, it don't matter. Yo, what's good, guys? Right now, I'm finna head to the bank, go deposit my check. And as y'all know, I just hit 50K subscribers on TikTok. So right now, what I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go get a small cake, probably put 50K, come back to the crib and come eat it. I wanna celebrate because I am 21. Today's my birthday. I hit 50K subscribers. I appreciate every single person that follows me, supports me, and all of that. I really do. I appreciate all of y'all. Right now, I am uploading a video. Let me see. Hold up. I, look, this is where I have to come so I can upload it. I have to connect it. There's my laptop. I have to connect to the router. Let me see. 
it is at 82 percent this morning every time every time i try to upload like i try to upload this video on tuesday but it, it was just not uploading and that really made me mad and then right now i was like you know what let me restart it and right now it's it's doing pretty good i guess since no one's home or whatnot and it's connected but yeah, let me go do that. Let me go grab a cake, a small cake, nothing too crazy. I really never like celebrating my birthday, so I'm gonna do that. And yeah, I just wanna talk to y'all, you know, just chill, vibe or whatnot. And right now I'm feeling great, I really am. And plus I'm happy that my life is turning out to be better than it was last year, because I know last year, obviously I ran from the cops. I did, I, did I did some dumb stuff. But either way, man, I'm pretty happy. Right now I'm about to take the cat eye to go to go do them errands. And then yeah, I catch you soon. Let me, let me tell y'all some real ass shit. So right now, March 1st, today's my birthday. Okay, cool. I don't got nothing to celebrate. I don't got a hundred mil yet. I can't chill yet, like little baby said. I don't got a hundred mil yet. I'm not chilling, I'm not partying, I'm not drinking. Yeah, I turned 21, I'm legal to drink now. I'm not going for none of that. I got fucking goals to achieve. I got shit to approve to myself. I got shit to prove to y'all. I don't gotta prove nothing to nobody except myself and my supporters. My supporters are the ones that actually fucking support me. I have people that shake my hand physically, that know me since I was a kid. Guess what, they don't fucking support me. They don't, they don't give a fuck about what I'm doing. But you know what, one day when I'm up there and I'm in my fucking Lamborghini with my fucking shorty, motherfuckers gonna be like, I know them, I knew them. We got shit to achieve all 2024. 2023 was a fucking big lesson for me. I learned a lot, I experienced a lot. I know what to do now, I know how motherfuckers move. I know a bunch of shit now. I don't care about none of that. 2024, bro, I'm staying tight with my real ones. I'm not, no one's coming in cutting off a lot of people I already did that yeah we cool we, we can be cool from afar but if you're not supporting me you're not this and this why are you following me you just looking at my shit i'm just looking at your shit ain't no reason to fucking follow me all that shit is fucking dead i ain't gonna cat with you bro like for real motherfuckers be moving funny bro don't be calling me your brother don't be calling me none of that when you know you're moving funny behind my back that shit just weird to me it's all about respect respect is a big fucking thing now like dead ass like i don't fuck with none of that weird stuff no more like back then I was I was a little bit stupid but now bro I see shit for how it is how it really is I see how people really be moving bro people be calling you your friend your bro your brother bro that shit be it bro if a motherfucker really can't fucking tell you shit straight up to his fucking face or anything bro don't go for it bro there's so many there's so many fucking weirdos I can understand when we cool from a distance like we got that mutual respect but when we don't got that mutual respect bro ain't no reason for you to come shake my fucking hand at all like dead ass ain't, I ain't going for none of that shit so yeah I mean that's just me talking to y'all and being real with y'all like dead ass like right now in my life I have hella homeboys I got minimum probably 10 homeboys but you know what I fuck with each one heavy you know why because they show me they fucking real and I don't like them motherfuckers that, that be dick riding other people just because, just a dick ride. Like, that shit is weird as fuck. Like, bro, do you realize we have, like, the same cool friend, but you over here acting like a weirdo? That shit is weird, bro. Like, that shit is hella weird. But anyways, that's how people move, and I don't give a fuck about none of that. Bro, there's so many people out here that are my age, that are rich, have fucking uh, for Ferraris, Lamborghinis, all that. I be thinking I'm falling behind. I'm 20. Well, I'm 21 now. But I have three trucks, I still live with my dad, but I be thinking I'm falling behind, but there's people that wake up every day and choose to sleep in. There's people every day that choose to wake up and play video games all day and not do nothing with their life. So when I think about that, I be like, you know what, I'm doing good. I'ma just wait my turn until I go up. You know why? Because I know I work hard for what I got. I know I appreciate everything I got. And that's one thing I'm going to do more. Appreciate and not take stuff for granted. Because the Lord the Lord can take everything. The Lord took my license away, took my Mustang away, this and this. I know it was my mistake running from the cops. But guess what? I learned a lot from that. That's that's working for experience now. So you know what? Life life is not fair. But I learned a lot from a lot. I learned, I learned a lot from the past year. And now that's helping me this year to improve to think better and to do better when you know better you do better so that's why I, that's why i'm moving the way i do I'll tell you something too when you want to do something you're going to do it when you want something you're going to do it <coughs> you're not going to sit there and make excuses once you start realizing that 
that you can do whatever you want, you're gonna start doing it. Once you realize that the only person to blame is you, is when you're actually gonna start doing stuff. When you realize that the only person holding you back is you, you're gonna do a lot more. Once you stop putting excuses and all that shit, you're gonna do better with your life, trust me. I remember when, when I messed up with my Mustang, I kept saying, oh, I'm gonna start my business, I'm gonna start my business after my car, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do that. Bro, I just kept making excuses, like I really did. Once I, once I finally grew up, matured, and fucking, and decided to quit my job, guess what, life went better for me. That ass, life went better for me. My first check that I made while working by myself, bro, I was like, God, live, bro, I was like, damn, I don't even make this like in, in a month and a half at my fucking job. Like, that shit was crazy for me. Like, when I received that first check, that was like, off of four days of working, I was like, oh crap, I was like, damn. I gotta get my shit together. Once you stop putting the blame on everybody else, that's when life gonna get better. Once you stop thinking, once you start putting the negativity away, that's when life gonna get better. Once you start focusing on you, yourself, and none of that drama, your life gonna get better. Once you realize that everybody is beneficial and nobody's a real friend, your life gonna get better. Once you stop worrying about people, your life will be better. Trust me, I'm saying that because I know this and, and it's experience. Like, I don't sit here and wake up every... I don't sit here and wake up every day and worry about what other people are doing. I don't care what you're doing. I got to focus on me. Me thinking about you ain't going to help me in my future or nothing. You don't pay my bills. You don't do nothing. Also, there's another thing, too. Once you start listening, once you start, once you start listening and doing the little shit, life will get better for you. Once you start listening and actually holding in the truth, accept the truth, accept reality, life will get better. I know tons of people that I give advice to and I tell them shit how it is. And guess what, they get mad. Well, I don't know why you're getting mad. You need to accept the truth. Once you accept the truth, you're gonna do better. My dad used to, my dad be yelling at me, my dad be telling me so much shit. And guess what, I don't even get mad no more. I, ooh, I used to get mad, but guess what? Once you actually accept the truth and realize it is what it is, life will get better for you. Like, it, it really will. Once you tell people their flaws and all that, I'm no one to judge. I'm no one to judge, but I see how, sh I see shit for what it is, you know? And, bro, that's it. I mean, I be telling my cousins, why I gotta drink and smoke every weekend? Like, why can't we talk about business doing this? They think I'm bullshit. I'm really not. Whole time, whole time, I'm just trying to look out for y'all. But the whole time, people are comfortable doing that. and. That's no issue to me and that like ain't nothing wrong with that. That's your life. I'm gonna live my life how I think I should live it and how I want. But all the time it's all love. I just wanna see you do better because I know you can do better. You feel me? You get what I'm saying? And like that's life. Look, let me tell you something. When I was younger, I never I never really gone to church. My mom never really put me in church. I've gone a few times, but it's never like uh, every uh, every Sunday thing. And so I didn't really know how to talk to God. I didn't really know how to ask for forgiveness or do none of that. I, I didn't really know that. I really never had my dad to be there for me and give me talks about this and this when I was younger. Everything that I know now is because I had to, I had to learn it through myself. I, I started talking to God for myself because of my problems, this and this. You, you think that that um, I was growing up into that mess? No, a lot of people think I grew up perfect. A lot of people see the house, the trucks. They think I'm fucking spoiled and all that, bro. I ain't, bro, I'm fr far from spoiled. I didn't have the stuff that my little brother gets now. It's everything I asked for when I was a child. I don't really get mad when I see it now because, you know, I work for my own stuff now. But, you know, it's like, damn, like, I wish I would have had that growing up, you know? But guess what? It is what it is. Life got better and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame nobody for for nothing. It is what it is. I gotta grow up. So yeah. But either way, always put God first. I love spreading God because that I feel right. I know I don't talk to God every single day, but I do talk to him about my problems. I I thank him. I try to thank him every day because thank you that I'm able to see. Thank you that I'm able to use my hands, my legs, my mouth, my hearing, my nose, everything, bro. Because you know what? There's people in this world that don't have a leg. There's people in this world that don't have an arm. 
So I thank him for that. I thank him that I'm able to do a lot of stuff that a lot of people aren't. I thank him for that. I really do. I appreciate everything. You always got to give thanks, bro. Really, like seriously. Last year, whenever I was going through my car problems, all I, all I was doing was praying, praying, praying for better times. Guess what? Better times is here. And I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm, I'm so happy. Like, not even two months ago, like, I felt like I was mad at myself. I felt like I was stressed out, this and this. But guess what? I wasn't happy. But now I'm happy. I'm happy because I got what I got. There's people in this world that will never have what I have. And I feel like I don't even have nothing. So that's why I give thanks. And that's why I appreciate a lot more. That's why I really do appreciate a lot more. I got to not take stuff for granted. I took a lot of stuff for granted. And guess what? That's because I was being dumb. But you know what? I, I love the way I'm living now. I really do. And everything I went through was because of me. Everything I've gone through is because of me, the choices I made, the choices I make every day. Every day I wake up and I can say yes or no. Every day I can wake up and decide what I want to do. It all starts with me. So if my life is going bad, it's because of me. If my life is going great, it's because of me. But you know what? You always got to give thanks to the Lord. That's number one. Let me tell you something straight up. I don't have a bunch of friends, but I do have a couple real ones that I can count on and I know I can. Every weekend, I go to my mom's house and just chill. Literally just chill. I'll be in my room listening to music, watching movies, and all that. That's literally how I grew up. So all that partying and all that, I really never gone. I never really been in that type of environment. A lot of people don't like the truth and they're not gonna wanna sit here and hear it. But either way, it's going it's gonna it's gonna affect somebody and it's gonna change their mindset. Yo, let me tell you something. Whoever is hearing this. And whatever you're going through, I promise you it's going to get better. Whatever you want, you better work hard to achieve it. Whatever whatever goals, plans you got, never give up, bro. Like, like if you if you follow me and you support me, you're never going to see me. You're never going to see me give up. I might be stressing. I might be overthinking, but I'm never going to give up. Why? Because I owe myself everything and I owe everything to my parents. Now I just came and someone texted me and was like, yo, are you in Garner? And I'm about to push up on him. I'm about to see what's up with him. What's good, bro? Oh, my God. <laughs> what you that doing up? right now? I'm vlogging, bro. Yo, Say what's, what's up. What's good? <laughs> what's good, what's bro? Up, man? How, How you doing? doing? Chilling, bro. Chilling what about right you? Here, man. I just came huh? out of school. Oh really? Yeah, you just got up? Right here. Oh fast now. That's what's saying. I like the truck. <laughs> appreciate, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. I did not expect to meet you today. <laughs> no cap. Crazy. Yeah, I just had to come by to the bank and you know, right now I'm about to head to a food line and probably just go on about my day, bro. What you about to do? Not much. I'm just about to wait for my sister to come. Oh, okay, fast. Wait, you just got out of school, you said? Yeah. Fast. How far is she? Right now, mm. I'm a senior. Oh, oh, you a senior? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm about to head going, bro. I see you, bro. Right, nice hey. to meet you. Take, Take care. Man. All right, bro. I see you, bro. That's crazy. I never, bro. Like, look, I could have went home and been like, you know what? Like, gone about my day. But you know what? It's nice seeing people that that support me and shit like that. So I went by and I swung, I swung by and you know to talk to him, bro. Like that feels amazing, bro. Bro, I'm not even gonna cap to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That just made me happy, bro. That dead ass just made me happy, bro. Seeing seeing the smile on his face and all that, he was like, bro, I did not expect to meet you today, bro. You know what, bro? That that literally just made my day. I ain't even cap, bro. I can't wait to the day where people actually like are more excited to see me and stuff like that, bro. It feels really good, but either way, right now I'm about to head the full line, get that small cake. Hopefully they got cakes available. So yeah, a small one, I don't, want, I don't really want a big one. So yeah, let me go do that. Also, let me tell you something. I also stopped by because I wanted to meet him and because bro I'm a human being just like he is he said he just got out of school that's lit stay in school um but yeah we're all humans I'm no, I'm not even better than him I'm, I'm nothing to him um but either way that's a supporter of mine I'm not gonna treat no one any different than me we're all human beings at the end of the day so bro I mean I ain't gonna cap that that literally just made my day I ain't gonna cap but but yeah, I mean, there's people here that have hundreds, like uh, thousands, thousands of followers, this and this. But when they go to the when they go to the store, bro, people don't even know them. Like they they act so uh on social media. But I promise you, when they go to the store, no one knows them. So that's why you know I went back and actually went to go talk to him. If anything, I could have like luckily I checked my phone because I don't know I just, I just decided to check my phone and he was like, yo, you in Gardner? And so I, yeah, I just had to stop by say what's up to to my boy. I think his name was Justin. Right now I am pumping gas. I'm at the gas station right now. It's pretty windy. It's gloomy day. There's the truck. 
The truck look really good, I ain't gonna cap. That's how my supporter said he knows me by the wheels. Right now I gotta wash it though, it's pretty dirty. I haven't even washed it in a hot minute. Probably since, I ain't even gonna cap. It's probably been a month or two since I washed this truck. But right now I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let the tank full, uh, fill up and then I'm finna head over there. So yeah, I'll see you guys over there. Yo chat, I don't, I'm not doing this because of the camera, but I just seen some lady have a little poster on say something about she got family and kids, but I see that she's selling roses. I see that she's selling roses. And I really want to give one to my mom later on. I'm going to see her later. I might. Depending on how much it costs, I'm going to see how much. You know what? Let me, let me let me go talk to her. Let me go talk to her. But, yo, hold up. You can see that she's over there. I don't want to put her on the, on the camera, but you can see she's over there. So, let me talk to her. And let me see. Let me see what she's talking about. It says, I have four kids. Please help me with food and rent. I'm about to see what's up with her. If she's selling those, then perfect. Then that's fine. I'm going to see what's up right now. Look, she's looking at me. She's looking at me too. Hold up. Are you selling those? Are you selling those? How much? Five. Five? Let me. Get, how much you want for the whole thing? How much you want for the whole thing? Chris? For todo. How much you want? Here. Hablas español? Poquito sí. What do you talk? English or Spanish? Poquito Spanish. Si te doy 40 por todo? O cuánto quieres? Okay. No, she's está bien. Ten. Thank you so much. Cuídate. God bless you. Take care. Loki, she gave me a lot of roses, but I'm doing that because I want to give that to my mom. Cute too. They're pretty nice. So right now, right now I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this um this cake real quick. I'm gonna buy this cake real quick. Yo, it's good YouTube. I'm back right now. As you can see, I bought some flowers, some roses, and I bought the cake. And then right now. Let me look at the laptop. Let me look at it real quick. Let me see if it finally uploaded. Yeah. All right. So now I got to click a thumbnail and then I'll probably post it today. And then there's a birthday vlog. Probably post it another day, probably Sunday. Congrats to 50K to me. And thank you for every supporter that has been here with me since the start. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. Right now I'm about to cut it open and eat because i have not ate all day i have not and it's 2 11 right now yo what's good guys right now i am eating the cake i got two slices in and low-key is really sweet so I'm not, I'm not even going to try to eat it no more but i am going to pick up dykes from school and i'm gonna have them eat some and right now we live what's good chat right now we got chat right there i am going to pick up dykes in a few like i said from school and then we're probably gonna go out eat around six. I haven't ate all day and low key, I should have ate this cake because it's low key making my stomach hurt. But either way, it's pretty good. Duke day, I'm dead. Look, hold up, they're saying urine stuff. I'm about, to push on, I'm about to push on the vlog, birthday vlog. And shout out to all the people that support me. We got 83 people right here. I appreciate every single person, no cap, bro. Like last year, bro, like none of this would be happening if it weren't for the people that fought with me. Yo, what's good, Chad? We got Takis over here eating some cake. I just picked them up from school. And right now, luckily the, the, the vlog just finished and it's gonna be uploaded at 5.30 today. So let's go. Yo, what's good, guys? I am ready. Low key, I have my book bag on because that's where my MacBook is at, but Low key, I got late ready. I mean, I got late ready. I'm about to go go ahead and go to the restaurant. One of these y'all's pulling up, so we'll do that. But y'all see you guys there because right now I can't really show you the outfit. I got the puffer and plus my thing. That's what I don't like about having separated um 
separated parents because you got to go back and forth back and forth so yeah i'll see you guys there right now i just stopped at the gas station to get perfect light uh lighting and i wanted to show you all the truck of course my birthday was good to be honest with you everything was straight now i'm gonna just go home i'm like 10 minutes down the road from the house i'm gonna just chill right now but yeah I'm, i just want to let you guys know that i'm pretty thankful for y'all i appreciate every single person that follows me supports me and all that i want to tell you guys something when you want to do something you gonna do it when you want to change your life and do better you are gonna do it so what i want to let you know which what i want to let you guys know is that if you want a better life you gotta start thinking better you gotta start doing better you gotta leave all the negativity all the toxic stuff in the past and start doing better for yourself and your you chase your dreams when you got dreams you're gonna do whatever it takes to do it a lot of people ask me what's my biggest motivation why do i do the stuff i do and i just want to tell you guys whenever you have a dream whenever you have a vision you're gonna do whatever it takes to get to where you want to be in life i didn't have everything growing up but i want everything in the world to be honest with you i deserve a lot and i want to give myself a lot so that's why you see me grinding every single day every single day we wake up with a choice either you're gonna get it or you're not it all depends on if you have the ambition or not so what i want to tell you guys is every day when you wake up just know you have choices you gotta chase a dream or not i hope i can motivate each and every single one and i hope you guys are chasing your dreams each and every day we live once you should be able to want to do more in life each and every day i used to try to blame everybody but me once i stopped making excuses my life got better so i want you guys to stop making excuses if you're not where you want to be at in life it's because of yourself sad to say that's that's the truth that's the harsh reality to be honest a lot of people don't like facing the truth and you got to do that in order to become better you got to start thinking better you got to start doing better whenever you start thinking better you're going to do better once you once you change your mindset you're going to do way better once you leave all that negativity and all that toxic stuff in the past bro you're going to do a lot more and you're going to achieve a lot of stuff when you grow up i ain't even going to cap to you how you think i got all this i don't have a lot but i know i'm working to have a lot I gotta change that mindset. I changed my mindset and I started doing a lot of good things, honestly. If you want better, you're gonna do better. Yo, guys, right now I'm at the Ford dealership. I'm looking at these two Mustangs, man. They are pretty nice. A lot of y'all been talking to me about getting another Mustang. Honestly, I just might. We got this one and we got this red one. This one is premium and this one is base model. But they're both looking clean. I'm not gonna lie to you. This one honestly looks really nice. This one could potentially match the SS clone, but this one is base model and the white one is a premium. But they both look nice. This one is 58,000. This one is 48,000. The difference is obviously the cloth seats. And this one has the leather seats. And another thing I noticed was the front splitter. This one looks a little bit basic. And this one a little bit more out. But honestly, they look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I might just clickbait y'all. And put it as I'm buying a 2024 Mustang GT at 21 years old. I'm not going to lie to you. So I might hit them with a thumbnail, no cap. So yeah, but honestly, I kind of wanted to test drive, but they are closed, so I don't think they'll let me. But either way, either way, I do want one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like I should sell the GMC and actually pop off with one of these. I'm not gonna lie to you. You gotta take a risk in life in order to, you know, make more money. So honestly, I just might, honestly. It looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do miss my other one, and a lot of people on my lives be telling me to get another Mustang. Honestly, I just might. This one is pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, it is 58,000 obviously it has the leather seats and all that and this other one the base one is 48,000 honestly the 48,000 one ain't really too bad but um, but 10,000 for a premium man I don't know that's kind of crazy the other thing is the the wings the spoilers but yeah let me know what you guys think should I get one or should I not I think I see a, a gen 2 so let me go look at it real quick it's an eco boost though it's a tent look or this one well no, obviously not an eco boost i'll get a 5.0 5.0 to match deshaun's f-150 but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments let me know should i get a 5.0 or not i want to get one because i know if i do youtube and i can get paid off youtube and tiktok at the same time I'll be able to afford it like with no hesitation with no stress no nothing so yeah let me know what you guys think one thing that is stopping me from buying a mustang is my insurance my insurance my record my driving points all that is really messed up so that's what's stopping me from buying another mustang honestly but to be honest with you thinking about it if i could sell the gmc and then make make uh, money off of youtube and make hella content with the 5.0 then that would be pretty good to be honest because it's going to pay itself off i know insurance is going to be high but it's going to pay itself off 
but right now I just came to come look at those and yeah I'll probably drop this vlog either today or tomorrow I'm not I'm not sure but let me let me let me show y'all the truck imagine a red 5.0 with this future SS clone if I were to get one obviously you know I have to go with a stick shift not automatic Automatics are cool, but if you're gonna get a sports car, it's best to get us a, uh, a stick shift Honestly, ain't no point of having a V8 if it's not stick shift like seriously, but yeah guys that'll be the end of this vlog Let me know in the comments. What do you think should I cop a 5-0 or not?